Hi, this lesson is about storytelling. Storytelling is a very interesting skill. To make our stories attractive, we need to include descriptive details about the places, events, and the people the story is about. We use many comparative adjectives in this case, specifically when we want to make the things we are describing more interesting. Let's go back to what we studied in this module about storytelling. Throughout the module, you came across these sentences. I'm sure you'll all come up with the nicest stories ever for the school storytelling contest. I think the first and most important thing is to come up with a story. They also tell them to maintain their most important values. One of the most famous storytellers of all times is Walt Disney. What do you notice about the words in red? Are they verbs, nouns, adjectives, or adverbs? What are they followed by? What is the relation between them and the words in blue? Why do some words end in EST and others have the most before them? Now, let me explain more. These words, phrases, are used to form what we call superlative adjectives. A superlative adjective compares three or more nouns. It presents the noun with the highest degree. For example, the River Nile is the longest river in the world, compares all the rivers in the world, and tells that the River Nile is the longest of them all. It's different from a comparative adjective, which compares two nouns only. For example, a novel is longer than a short story, compares between two types of stories only, showing which one is longer. Now look at the examples. I'm 13 years old. My brother Ahmad is two years younger than me. My brother Salem is the youngest of us all. In the second sentence, the speaker is comparing two brothers only. In the last sentence, he's comparing all three brothers. We live in a big house. My aunt's house is bigger than ours. My uncle's house is the biggest house in the family. In the second sentence, the speaker is comparing two houses only. In the last sentence, the speaker is comparing all three houses. The English exam was difficult. The science exam was more difficult than the English exam. The math exam was the most difficult of them all. In the second sentence, the speaker is comparing two exams only. In the last sentence, the speaker is comparing all three exams. Now I'm going to explain how to form comparative and superlative adjectives. Adjectives with one syllable add ER at the end to form comparative adjectives, or EST at the end to form superlative adjectives. For example, fast, faster than, the fastest. Adjectives with one syllable ending in E, you remove the E and add ER at the end to form comparative adjectives, or EST at the end to form superlative adjectives. For example, close, closer than, the closest. Adjectives with one syllable ending in one vowel followed by one consonant, you double the final consonant letter, then add ER at the end to form comparative adjectives, or EST at the end to form superlative adjectives. For example, big, bigger than, the biggest. Adjectives ending in Y, remove the Y and add IER at the end to form comparative adjectives, or I-E-S-T at the end to form superlative adjectives. For example, dry, drier than, the driest. Adjectives with two or more syllables use more to form a comparative adjective and the most to form a superlative adjective. For example, famous, more famous than, the most famous. Adjectives that have irregular comparative and superlative forms. For example, good becomes better than in the comparative and the best with the superlative. Bad, worse than in the comparative and the worst in the superlative. Thank you. See you next time.